Hey guys, and today I'm going to be doing something different. I was watching Stella, I'm pronouncing her last name, but I'll put it on screen, her video, and she did a video where basically, ages ago, where she did, um, she was dyeing her hair, but she did it in black and white, so I'm going to try that. I'm going to show you my colour until after I have coloured it and everything, but as you can see, I did use some colourless to lighten it. My hair lightened a tad out in the um, outside. Actually lightens quite a lot. But yeah, I'm going to dye my hair. Now, I'm not going to show you the... I'm doing it with box dye. I'm not going to show you the thing, but it's just right here. I'm not going to show you the colour because it's going it be in black and white. But yeah, I'm going to dye it a colour. I will tell you the colour I'm dyeing it afterwards. My care conditioner, I've got my bottle and I've got my cream and I've got some gloves so let's put my gloves on. Gloves that they get with boxes because they get like really cheap ones. I wish they were more. For the price, this was £5.79 or something like that. For the price I think they should be you know a little bit more higher end gloves so just need to squeeze this in to pierce it. I'm not going to take the colour because otherwise I'd be giving it away. I don't think I've been this colour before. I don't think I have. And I want to know what you guys are thinking and what colour am I going to dye my hair? Like, like, have a guess below in the comments of what colour you think I'm going to dye my hair. It probably won't show up because my hair's quite dark and my base is pretty dark. It does have kind of lightness in it as well, but it's pretty dark. But I know Stella goes, don't use the bottle. I'm using the bottle just for what, because it's just ease. And let me know in the comments below what you think I'm going to be dyeing my hair colour to because I feel like that's going to be quite a test. Oh, that's getting really colourful. I've got a mirror in front of me, I've got a towel in front of me, so I know where to go. Then you shake this, and then put it on a timer for 30 minutes, let it develop, and then rinse it. So if you do colour your hair, make sure you get a top that you don't care about ruining. This was a Halloween top where I was a zombie, and I don't care about ruining this top because I can use it again to be a zombie. My tan has kind of, is fading off in patches, which I do actually need to take off. I'm gonna make sure I take all my tan off, make sure it all tan is removed, and then I'm gonna be trying a different tan for you guys, which is gonna be exciting. It's gonna be good as well. Oh, that color is so good. This might not be the same on the box, because uh, how what colour it is. I might get like two tones of colour or it might be dark, but I am going to be growing my hair and then cutting it to a chin length bob and then bleaching my two, then putting my hair down the middle, if you know what I'm saying, doing middle part and probably dyeing that bit and then dyeing that bit pink or bleaching that bit and bleaching it pink because then I can have a money piece. I want to try a money piece. That was a big trend in 2020. This is permanent hair colour, just for letting you know. After I've done this, I will basically use semi permanent hair colours so my hair won't be as um, damaged. But I'm taking hair burst as well, so there we go. Pop on the colour. I'm just going to start off with the centre first. Ooh. I don't know if it's going to take to this colour. My hair could start off being really dark because my base is kind of really dark. But when you go out in light, it doesn't look that bad. Oh, just, you know, I don't like the gloves you get with these. I think I'm going to buy some more, buy like hair dyeing gloves myself, you know what I mean? Just buy like a pack of them, like really good ones. And buy like a, a brush with a ball as well, so I can just do that. Oh, this is kind of really nice colour. I like the colour. I know it's not going to show up this vibrant on my hair, but some places might get that little bit of a colour. But you'll see why it won't sharp as much because of the colour. But hopefully it colours it to, like, hopefully you get some colours in it because some of my hair is kind of really light and others are kind of like really dark. Oh dear. But yeah, Sally did this colour as well, but her hair was kind of like dark, dark, and then light because she bleached her ends. Just need to, you know, Make sure all my hair colour is saturated into the hair as well. Make sure it's really saturated. I am going to use whole of this. Even though my hair is quite short, I'm definitely going to use a whole bottle to make sure my hair is fully saturated in the colour. It's kind of like really, you know, really thingy. So yeah, I did lighten it with some lightener, like the colourless. Didn't do a fantastic job. Just lightened it a bit, like took away the black. My I dye my hair black bloom, blue black, and never again. Because 
once black comes into your hair, it's hard to get out. So I'm not gonna dye black blue again, even though I like the colour, and even though it is a nice colour, and I've done it twice. So it's a permanent hair colour as well, and I just like, don't wanna do that again. I don't fancy doing that again. So hopefully this will take it, even if it's a little bit darker. It will dye it some colour, but it won't be as light as it is on the box, because my base is pretty dark. Base is pretty dark. Ooh. I'm gonna buy some barrier cream as well. Barrier cream is basically you put it on the hairline and don't get as much dye on yourself. So definitely buy some get barrier cream. Mm -hmm. Just gonna do that in there. Hopefully this bottle is going to do the harm ahead because if you have, if you have lighter or longer you probably need two bottles because my head's kind of short already. Hopefully I can just use one bottle. I know my roots are probably going to take effect more because it's going on natural hair color, if you know what I mean. Like my lips will probably be lighter. No, this can't be running out already. There we go, much better. No, it's not. It's not running out already. It's just the fact that it's up, it's upside down, and then it's not. Please, all of it. Oh, that's a nice, it's a nice colour. It is a beautiful colour. I like the colour. Very nice. But yeah, what colour do you think I'm going to be dyeing my hair? Leave your comments in the comments below. Leave your suggestions in the comments below. What do you think I'm going to dye my hair with colour? Yes. Cause that's the fun in guessing isn't it it's just the fun in guessing like oh what is shining gonna do to her hair what color is she gonna do it making sure my hair is gonna be saturated with the color because that's what you need that's what i need saturated with the color you know saturate with the color it's so much though It goes sash around my hair. Make sure the colour goes on there. I do get a bit messy with colour in my hair, but you know what? Who cares? And now I'm trying to grow my hair out, and this is not the good way to grow your hair out, like keep dying it, but I fancy the colour. I don't care if it's dark, or if my hair is dark, I don't care about that. Because it's a fun colour. Do you know what I mean? It's a fun colour. Well, I'll just keep so much of the dying. I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Just sash around my hair with the colour. Ooh. Some bits might come off, but it's fine. Go to my top, it's fine. If I go to my trousers, I don't think it'll work on my trousers because my hair, my trousers are black. Used up all of this, which is quite a lot. It's quite a lot. I don't remember really using this much. Just gonna empty it all. Into my head, you know what I mean? Just all to all. Nice to get it all. Especially behind my ears and everything. I'm not really like, you know, thingy. Make sure it's all saturated. Okay, that is everything. That's all the colour gone. Normally, you don't, I use like a half a bottle left, but to now, because it's probably my hair's getting longer, just gonna make sure 
I rub it in my hair. Make sure it all goes in my hair. You know, just make sure you massage it everywhere. So make sure you massage it everywhere, you know. Get the colour good and proper into your hair. And massage it into your hair. Definitely can't wait to do the money pieces on my hair when it grows longer. And get that middle part into the system. Oh, oh! Make sure it's all saturated. I'm gonna make sure it's all saturated in my hair. What I'm gonna do now is just to relieve the things around at my hairline. I'm on for thirty minutes. Thirty minutes starting now. Okay. First of all, I'm just gonna have to take it off the bottle and off my hand and off my wrist. Ugh. Now why the hell that happened? Let's put some things on. Like tighten up. If I leave this on my hair like much longer, it's going to turn out the colour that I'm going to do it. Which is not very good. It looks like it's getting that way already. I'm a messy hair dye, but I don't care. Because at least I'm having fun with experimenting with different colours and everything. You don't be afraid to dye hair and a colour if you want to go a dark colour. Don't be afraid to dye it because you only live once. It's all in good fun in the end. My time is on for 30 minutes. Once 30 minutes is up, then I can wash it out and come back with the finished result. I might come back the next day though, uh, when it's dry, I'll come back when it's dry. Yeah, my hair is kind of really different color. <laughs> yeah, I will come back in 30 minutes once it's all done and then I will come back once it's fully dried. This is my hair wet. Um, I know you can't see the color right now and I, don't, and I know you don't know what color it is, but it's actually looking quite nice. I never thought it would come into this color, because my hair was actually dark. My roots though, and some of the hair have gone a bit lighter than what my hair was. What I'm gonna do is wait for this to fully dry and then come back when it's dry so you can see what my hair is looking like. And this is my hair color. It is a nice burgundy color. I actually really like the color. It's really nice. The box will be right here, the box I use. But it's actually really nice. It does actually look like it. Yes, my hair is very dark, but when it goes into natural light, you will see the actual pigment more, but it looks really nice. Yeah, I will show you in natural lighting as well what it's called. But this is what my hair is like at natural lighting. It's very purple, do you expect to? My new hair colour. Did you guess the correct one right? And did you guess the correct colour right? Because, yeah, this is my hair now. Well, 086 that I used, and oh, it just feels really nice and luxurious. And this is the final time that I'm dying my hair with permanent hair dye colour. Next time when I do dye my hair, it will be with just semi, semi permanent. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!